live in Minnesota, JWSO USA. Today is about time preparing for the oil change, as we guys have been waiting for. And um, I'm telling you guys, is the how I used this one a year ago, which is the annual protection and prevent proven protection for a full one year ultra synthetic. Is a 5W20 that's what my car use and guys I'm gonna be seeing if I can I'm gonna try this one and replace it for the Royal Purple a lot of you guys have used this product but um, for those of you who haven't when I want to see show you guys uh, what exactly I'm gonna try to utilize here and I hope you guys will like this video and uh, share it Okay, and um, the Royal Purple, I've heard so much stories about it, and uh, I just want to give you the specs, and like I said, this guy here worked perfectly, no problem, and uh, I'm going to take it, I'm going to drain the oil, and uh, I'm going to show you how it looks like, and after that, we're going to go with this. A royal purple and uh, let me bring it close sorry these are the specs here you can read it all by yourself so yours read it and this is why I want to do this I'm gonna test it it has a good name a lot of people have been talking about it so I want to try it in my car and see how it goes so this is the oil and uh, I'm going to be showing you all the other stuff that I'm going to be doing the upgrade with from here. And I hope uh, this video will help some of you guys and will help you guys to make a good decision. For I'm going to give you a quick glance again for those of you who haven't watched the video. If you accidentally watched this video, I want you to go back and look for the first video. On my channel and go about it and uh, read everything or listen to whatever I said on that one you can forward or you can pause this video and read all the stuff there's a lot of writing I can't read all this for you guys so you get you have the opportunity just like a DVR you can pause and rewind and look at it anytime you want if you haven't been at the store you haven't played with this thing these are the stuff okay and uh, doing giving you a comparison here and uh, to see side by side get over the glare side by side and see this is what this other one said they're all supposed to be 5w30 okay for my engine you can use the one your manufacturer uh, required for you or else you can use uh, the machine they have at the store it's gonna tell you exactly what oil fits your vehicle so don't use um, 5w20 for your specification or for your vehicle this is required for my vehicle all right and let me take you back to the next upgrade I'm gonna do on the video the filter is gonna be this guy here it's gonna be a KNN. I always run uh, very high quality stuff for, um, for my vehicle or anything I'm trying to do. Uh, really trying to get high quality. So this is the the HP uh, 1004. So look at that. It's a heavy duty construction, premium efficiency and capacity. So KNN, you guys know about KNN. It has a high reputation, even on racing and all the good stuff. So let me bring you close and see. They have uh, different specifications here for different vehicles, brand and models. So depends what you want to use. So these are all Scion, Subaru. And Hyundai and uh, as a vehicle driving in Kia Mitsubishi so 
that's all enough about it. You can see the other side here. These are the specs and oh, sorry, the, 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 the building of the thing. These are the standard for another car. Some manufacturer. And this is the can and this is how it's constructed. Okay, this is how it's constructed. It's a beefy and really extended life on high flow meteor. See that? So this is what I'm gonna use. And from there it doesn't end there. So this is gonna cost another stuff again here. This is what I'm gonna be using for the cabin filter. And you guys, a lot of you guys, if you haven't changed a cabin filter before. I would recommend you change the cabin filter. A cabin filter is where it's responsible. You can see the drawing here. This is the, the vent, the air coming in. Let me use your heat or air conditioning. Sometimes you uh, start up your vehicle, turn the air on. It smells like moles, funky smell. This guy is bad. You got to change that. You have to see inside a cabin filter and you really want to throw up because it's gross. Because your debris outside, look at this, all the bugs and all the nasty stuff and like mold smell when you're driving, you know, takes the air from outside and brings it inside to, um, to um, give you a nice fresh air. So this one, you can change every 15,000 miles. So it's almost like every two times oil change because if you run a th uh, 3,000, miles because I change my oil every 3,000 miles but the uh, mobile annual protection runs for a year so this is what it is so it requires to um, 15,000 miles every 15,000 miles you have to change your cabin filter so you can have a good air flowing your heat and air conditioning just running the fan is fresh and nice you open that thing you remove it Oh boy, it's really nasty. But you know, to be honest with you, I'm gonna be showing you. That's why I'm doing all these upgrades, and I've been doing this. But I decided to do a video instead of keeping it to myself, and help a lot of people who doesn't know nothing about these cabin filters. And they think their car smells funny, like a dead or wet dog, or a wet animal, whatever it is, or wet rug. So I just wanna show you. These are. The upgrades I'm gonna be doing for oil change. So anytime I do oil change, I have to go through all this other stuff here. So these are the specs right here. All the equipment or all the uh, devices or components, that's the word, the components you need for your oil change. And uh, this is what I'm doing right here at the JW Solo USA. I hope this video helps someone. It's not cheap. The Royal Purple cost you about $40. The annual protection thing costs you about $39.84 it costs. And the KN filter. The KN filter costs about $12.73. And this guy here is about uh, $18. The, the cabin filter about $18. And um, $18.87, something like that. So if you check that out. Excluding this guy, just this guy and these three stuff here cost you some pretty good money right there. Let's round this one to 20 bucks already and let's take this one to 13. Okay, this is a 12.78 and this is a $40, um, $40.98 40 so 40 plus a 20 right there is 60 plus um, about 12, 13 over there. 70 about 73 dollars for just these three items here that's what uh, i normally do for my vehicles and i never have any problems ever but everybody has his own way of doing things this is what i do and you don't have to do what i'm doing some people think it's too much outrageous but this is how i treat my cars and they treat me right I never have any engine problem. I never have any engine failure ever, ever. Transmission, nothing. So this is how I upgrade my vehicles. If you like this, subscribe, like, and share. Right here at JW Solar USA.
thanks for watching stay tuned for the videos coming for all of these okay love you guys bye for now